In this segment of Making a Difference, we will learn about how doctors find problems in the human body. Doctors are always looking for a new way of looking inside the human body. Yolanda Torres from Agus Technology High School will introduce us to Tamisha Clark from Cook Medical. Nicomas, we're here with Tamisha Clark, Vice President of Operations for Cook Medical. She will explain to us how endoscopy allows the doctors to see inside a human body. And she has a whale of a story to tell us. Ms. Clark, can you tell us what endoscopy is? Endoscopy is a minimally invasive technique that is used to investigate interior surfaces of the body or the inside of an organ by inserting a tube into the body. Sometimes it requires minor surgery or times where the doctor is looking down a patient's throat, there is no surgery. How is that possible? Endoscopy uses a tube that is inserted into the body to provide an image for visual inspection and photography. The same tube can also take biopsies and retrieval of objects. Here you see the endoscopy tube removing a stone that has been caused by calcium buildup. And Cook Medical makes the endoscopy equipment? Yes, we have a team of over 300 people in Winston-Salem that design and build this equipment. What do you need to know to be able to do this? Well, as an example, our engineers work directly with the doctors to design the equipment. They have to be familiar with the human body, or what is called physiology, to understand what the doctors need and, more importantly, design the medical devices. And then they need to know about engineering and computer visualization. In other words, they need to be very good in science and math. What is the most interesting tool you've ever developed? SeaWorld had a sick whale and knew of Cook's expertise. It seems the whale had swallowed a flotation device that they could not remove. The whale was in bad shape and would die if Cook couldn't help. SeaWorld sent Cook the specification of the flotation device, and Cook created and manufactured a device that would go down the whale's throat and retrieve the marker buoy that the whale had swallowed. It worked, the flotation device was removed, and the whale lived. Now that's an interesting fish story. This is Yolanda Torres reporting from Cook Medical.